just 18 years old i feel we were just searching for a professional course or a degree for ourselves which would help us earn a handsome salary and which would help us earn our bread and butter but breaking all the stereotypes our today's guest drishti kharbanda started a organization when she was just 18 years old and today is a ceo at wmc that is women's made craft drishti it's our immense pleasure to have you on our show welcome to the show drishti Thank you so much, Samriti. Thank you for having me on the show. Uh, it's a pleasure and I'm looking forward to the session. Okay, Drishti. So, uh, Drishti, would you please introduce yourself? Hi, my name is Drishti Karbanda and I'm founder of Sarvani and Women Made Craft and I'm really excited for this session. Okay, Drishti, starting with the very first question, uh, as you describe yourself as social entrepreneurship, and social entrepreneur. So tell me what exactly is social entrepreneurship and how did you get to know about it? Uh, basically, social entrepreneurship as a term is like any other entrepreneurship, but uh, where you create a service or product which cater uh, and give you profits. But when you add social to the word entrepreneurship, it's mostly about when you create a product or service which tackles a social problem. Also with social entrepreneurship, where you see key entrepreneurship uh, mostly is about uh, adding to the wealth of the owner. When you come to social enterprise or social entrepreneurship, that is not the primary goal. It's not about making the owner wealthy. It's about creating a social impact a positive impact in the society. So when you say this, when you see and look at the success of a company, which is a social enterprise, you will, uh, you will not focus on how much profit that company made in that quarter or in, in that year. You'll focus on what kind of impact that company made or what kind of uh, impact that uh, social entrepreneur was able to bring uh, or change the entrepreneur uh, was able to bring. So that is the concept of social entrepreneurship. Okay, matlab, uh, you are pretty much aware of what social entrepreneurship is. Matlab, generally, when people are of 18, they are very much confused that social or entrepreneurship is what is happening You are pretty much clear that what so social entrepreneurship exactly is about. Yeah, because I think when I was 18, I had no idea about social entrepreneurship. It was only years later. I think it was about when I was 20. I was able to understand what the term means and what I'm doing somehow relates to that. So you uh, people were like, who are you? How you define yourself? I was not, I've never looked at myself as an activist or somebody who's been, you know, uh, going for one thing and just trying to uh, make people aware about it. I didn't know what I was doing. So then the term, when it came to me, I was like, okay, you know, this is something I think I am, I wish to do and I think I'm doing. Or I'm in path of doing so. Uh, that's where it uh, drawn to me that social entrepreneurship is something which I'm interested in. So that's how we all started with social entrepreneurship concept. Yeah, yeah. Basically, I think when you're so young, when I started, I had no idea what a NGO is about. I had no idea what even the full form of a uh, you know, uh, NGO is a, or what is social entrepreneur. These terms are very heavy. For an 18 year old, I was just a student in my undergrad who had joined in an all girls college and wanted to do something just which, which she likes. You know, I created a WhatsApp group. I didn't create a social uh, uh, enterprise or I was not creating an NGO when I started Sarvani. I created just a WhatsApp group for girls in my college and women around me to join in so that we can talk on different topics. So when I was creating or was naming uh, the uh, Insta handle or the organization which I was in my head at that time, Sarvani, I had no relation with these terms. I had no idea what the terms are supposed to be. And I also don't have a background where, in, you know, anybody in my family is from social or political or any kind of background. You know, very simple people, normal Punjabi family where this idea of these terms is alien to us. So I had no idea, but as you grow and as you learn, as people come and you meet new people, which, you know, people especially have uh, way more experience and exposure than you have, then they give you these terms and then you Google them. 
and then you read about them and then you understand oh you know this is what it is and oh maybe i am this maybe i am not that so it's like about figuring out yourself and i'm still in that process i'm still figuring out uh, these terms and what they mean to me and what i can do about them okay okay so it's like uh, learn while you grow and grow while you learn it's it's like uh, irrepressible comments which you have together right yes i think you cannot uh, you cannot grow without experience. i think experience is for me is the only way i was able to learn because there was no guiding force for me i didn't had any mentor i had nobody not even in my family or close friends or relatives who were you know who were guiding me through that process and neither i had a co-founder so that i had a team and i started so who can you know we can so, so that we can learn together so for me it was all about experience all about me on this journey of learning making mistakes and then learning and relearning and unlearning all these different uh, you know uh, things that i was doing constantly and this is what i'm trying to become you know i'm just i think i all i am and all i think i will be in my life it will be out of the experience that i have and every time i look at myself and see what i want to do next i just base my uh, you know uh, my decisions on the experience that i have because for me any other thing is unknown i don't know what is there because i have not experienced it what i have experienced i just my knowledge is that much and i'm i'm learning to know more so i want to explore more so i take chances and i go and you know discover and talk about different things and i'm interested to meet new people because life is too short for me to you know, learn everything by on my own you know so i'll say ki acha mujhe experience se seekhna hai to mujhe sare karne padenge i have to go and you know uh, go through the world then only i know the world so what i do is uh, i uh, meet new people and they tell me their experience that's experience you know they share this experience and i try to learn from their experience as well to achhi inhone ye galti ki thi to main ye galti na karu तो मैं हमेशा अपने दिमाग में कॉन्स्टेंटली ऐसा नहीं होता कि आई रिस्ट्रिक्ट माई सेल्फ बट आई कॉन्स्टेंट इज अट की डोंट मेक मिस्टेक्स एट पीपल मेड सो बी वेरी केयरफुल अबाउट इट एंड आई थिंक आई मेक मिस्टेक्स सो मेनी अदर मिस्टेक्स सो रिपीटिंग मिस्टेक्स इज नॉट समथिंग विच आई एम वेरी यू नो इंटरेस्टेड इन ऑल्सो राइट राइट सो एज वी टॉक अबाउट जर्नी can you tell us the journey which sarvani has gone through how did sarvani came into existence what is its meaning can you tell us something about sarvani yes uh sarvani um as i told you i was very young i was a teenager i created a whatsapp group for me i went to a all girls college here in chandigarh which is mcm dab college very famous college for girls i went in and i i felt there was no women front you know united front you look at these organization even you know administration you feel women are very less you know things are changing for me in my we 20 years back there were like no women out there but now we have a better representation but i still feel that there's no unity there's no women front or women leadership you see one two leaders out there okay women leaders that's only two three names that we can think count them on our fingers but you don't see a united front of women coming together and i went into girls college and i felt that very deeply you know as women we are always plotted against each other somehow hamare main hamesha ye baat zarur karti hu jab main ye baat uthati hu hamare ishteharon mein hamare dramo mein to jab ye hai ki you know even in our dramas as daily soaps you always see women against women saas bahu mein women are against women they are fighting over a man these stories of women being against women and women being feeling jealous of other women is so normalized in our society that nobody questions it nobody questions if a girl is wearing something nice and another girl looks at it and makes a face nobody questions and say oh no that's not done that's not the way you should treat women or pulling one uh, women down by another women is so normalized it's because that's what we have always feed it acha saas bahu ki ladaiyan hoti hain कॉमन है लड़कियों में लड़कियों में जेलेसी होती है कॉमन है सुंदर लड़की से लड़की जलती है नॉर्मल है ये नॉर्मल जो है मुझे इससे प्रॉब्लम थी क्योंकि मुझे लगता था कि हर लड़की को नहीं होता ठीक है हर लड़की ऐसा नहीं सोचती और हम लोग ऐसी सोसाइटी में बनना चाहते हैं बनाना चाहते हैं जहाँ पे ये आपका नॉर्मल नहीं चलेगा 
ठीक है इतनी तो कोई बात नहीं है आई वॉन्टेड वीमेन टू कम टूगेदर बिकॉज यू नो लुक एट दिस्ट्री ऑफ वीमेन वी हैव टू फाइट इट हमारे वोटिंग राइट्स के लिए हम करा जीने के लिए to you know a, 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 a respected life जीने के लिए professional होने के लिए काम करने के लिए लड़ाई करी है हमने नहीं की है दुनिया की हर कोने में हर औरत ने लड़ाई की है वी ऑलवेज आर फाइटिंग 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 एंड आई फेल्ट की क्यों लड़ना पड़ा इतना औरतों को कि हम सारी दुनिया में इतने हजारों सालों से दबी जा रही हैं दबी जा रही हैं लड़बा लड़ना पड़ता है एक रेवोल्यूशन आना पड़ता है फिर राइट्स मिलते हैं फिर घर जाने के बाहर इजाजत मिलती है तो ये क्यों हो रहा है ये सिस्टम ऐसा क्यों है तो मुझे कहीं ना कहीं लगा कि शायद हमें कमजोर इसलिए समझा गया कि शायद क्योंकि हमारे यूनिटी नहीं थी मैं जैसे कहते हैं ना डिवाइड एंड रूल करना बहुत आसान है अगर जैसे ब्रिटिश हमारे हमेशा रेफरेंस दिया जाता है कि ब्रिटिश आए उन्होंने डिवाइड एंड रूल किया एंड दे वर एबल टू रूल दिस कंट्री फॉर सो मेनी इयर्स बिकॉज आई फेल्ट कि अगर मान लो हमारी कम्युनिटीज में जैसे हिंदू मुस्लिम में यूनिटी होती तो बाहर से आके तो कोई रूल नहीं कर सकता था तो वैसे ही मुझे लगता है कि अगर विमेन स्टैंड विद अदर विमेन यू नो फिर इनको कोई दबा नहीं सकता तो कहीं ना कहीं हमारे अंदर प्रॉब्लम है हमारी यूनिटी इतनी स्ट्रॉन्ग नहीं है हम खुद को लेके इतना सपोर्टिव नहीं है इस वजह से कि हमें बाहर या कहीं से भी दबाया जाता है तो मैं हमेशा इस चीज को देखती थी और ये चीज मुझे ट्रबल करती रही मैं शायद मैंने खुद से सफर किया है देखा है मैं घर में दूसरी बेटी हूँ आई एम सेकेंड डॉटर आई वो एल्डर सिस्टर एंड आई वो यंगर ब्रदर इट वॉज ऑलवेज यू नो इन माई माइंड आई ऑलवेज न्यू दैट आई एम दी एक्स्ट्रा वन यू नो I am the extra child. The reason I have a younger brother, which I love so much dearly, is because I am a girl. If I was a boy, there was no third child. Mm-hmm. And people tell you, दो लड़कियां हैं आपकी तो तो दूसरी कौन है? मैं हूँ. और हमेशा ये हर बार और ये औरतें करती हैं. मेरे घर में आंटीज वगैरह मैंने हमेशा देखा कि आसपास के लोग कहते हैं अच्छा दो दो बेटियां हैं आपकी तो बेटियां होती हैं तो बेटी जिम्मेवारी बहुत होती है औरतें ही आके आपके घर में कंपेयर करती हैं अच्छा ये छोटी वाली तो इसका ये तो उसका रंग बहुत बुरा है बड़ी वाली का इतना रंग साफ नहीं है छोटी वाली ज्यादा सुंदर एक कंपेरिजन औरतों में बहनों में माई सिस्टर एंड मी वर ऑलवेज कंपेयर हु लुक बेटर हु डांस बेटर एंड दिस काइंड ऑफ कॉम्पिटिशन इज सो नॉर्मलाइज and it's it's spoken so unabashedly ki aapko kitni aasani se keh diya jata hai ki acha ye to ye char dost hai na isme se ye sundar zyada hai ladki ye gori zyada hai aap char aapke bete ke char dost hote hain aap baith ke ye discuss nahi karte table pe ki charon mein se kaun sundar hai kaun zyada ladka gora hai main ladkiyon mein aap hi discuss karte ho hamesha ye jo problem hai ye deep rooted hai aur isko koi nahi theek kar sakta sirf aurat hi khud theek kar sakti hai jab hum apne aas paas ye cheez kar le Uh, मुझे कई बार uh, कि हम अपने आप को नहीं खींचेंगे हम एक दूसरी औरत को नीचे नहीं खींचेंगे हम अगर खुश नहीं हो सकते उसके लिए कि अगर नहीं अंदर से आ रहा है वुमेन वाज इन अ पैनल विद मी एंड शी सेड कि ये तो नेचुरल आता है जेलिसी इज वेरी नेचुरल औरत को औरत को जेलिसी होगी ही तो मैं उनसे यही कहूंगी अगर ये आपका नेचुरल नहीं आता है अगर औरत को औरत से जेलिसी होनी ही है और जलन एक बहुत नॉर्मल चीज है तो कम से कम आपसे रिक्वेस्ट है कि अगर आप उससे के लिए खुश नहीं हो सकते खुश होना जरूरी नहीं है कम से कम उसे खींचे ना उसे यू नो you कुछ know, वेरी इंपॉर्टेंट कि आप उसे ये ना कहें कि अच्छा तू ऐसी दिखती है अच्छा तूने ये कपड़े पहने हैं अच्छा तुम में से ये सुंदर है तू मोटी है तू पतली है ये चीजें मत करें अगर ये चीजें करेंगे तो आप अपने बच्चों को यही सिखा रहे और सारी जिंदगी आपको इन्हीं से तोला जाता है आप देखिए हमने ये कॉम्पिटिशन बना दिया अपने अंदर तो हमारी वैल्यू किससे डिसाइड होती है कि अच्छा ये कौन सुंदर है कौन गोरी है कौन पतली है और आई वॉन्ट दिस टू नॉट बी नॉर्मलाइज एनी एंड दैट कैन ओनली यू नो हैपिंग वन वीमेन टू कम टूगेदर एंड शो दैट वी कैन सपोर्ट ईच अदर टू मी फॉर सरवानी वॉज अबाउट वी वीमेन कमिंग टूगेदर इट्स अ वन ऑफ द वन हंड्रेड नेम्स ऑफ गॉड इज दुर्गा ठीक है दुर्गा माँ की एक सौ आठ नामों में से एक है और इसका मतलब होता है मुकम्मल कम्प्लीट So we are together. We are complete in ourselves. Look at how whole we are, as you know, women. We are so whole. I feel that you know. I feel like we can give birth and we can create a life, which is which is so holy in its nature. And I feel, uh, as women, we can come together and do a lot of things. We we are not codependent on anybody. Women are so strong, and I've worked with women for so many years. They, I am in awe of women. I think I have a lot of work for me to do. The kind of women, I, woman, I want to be in my future. 
but i am in awe of women all the women i look around i i am in awe of all of them and i see these how beautifully they live their life how giving women are कोई भी मतलब कोई कुछ नहीं मिलता उन्हें कुछ भी नहीं मिलता बट वो दे ही जाती हैं दे ही जाती हैं जो जिन माँ बाप जिन जिन माँ बाप के लिए वो बच्ची होती हैं बचपन में उनके लिए क्या कहते हैं बुढ़ापे में वो उनकी माँ बन जाती है उनको डांटती है उनको फटकारती है खाना नहीं खाया दवाई नहीं खाई ठीक है हर एक चीज पे छोटी छोटी चीजों का ध्यान रखती है और बेटे को हमारे समाज में इतनी राइट्स नहीं मिलती हैं आप ये समझे कि बेटे को होता है कि अच्छा तुम्हें तो प्रॉपर्टी निकाल दिया जाएगा तुम्हें तो घर निकाल देंगे हम घर से तुम अगर हमसे मिसबिहेव करोगे बेटे को तो कुछ नहीं मिलता वैसे अगर कुछ मटेरियलिस्टिक देखा जाए उसे कोई कुछ नहीं ऑफर करता कि अच्छा तुम्हें हम ये दे देंगे तुम्हें ये मिलेगा बट उसका सिर्फ प्यार होता है मोस्टली आप ये देखें उसको सिर्फ प्यार करती है वो फिर भी उसको उसको क्या कहते हैं पराया धन है तो ठीक है उसको घर भेज देते हैं तुम्हें तुम्हारी तो शादी करनी ही पड़ेगी पर वो दो दो परिवारों को संभालती होती है समेटती होती है मैंने Uh, तो ये जो औरतें होती हैं ये बहुत uh, मेरे को पहले बचपन में हमेशा बेटा बनना चाहती थी पापा का ठीक है मुझे मैं आई यूज टू आई टू कट माई हेयर वेरी शॉर्ट लाइक आई आई यूज टू दिस मच हेयर इवन शॉर्टर एन दैट एंड आई यूज टू बी स्पोर्ट शूज एंड आई ऑलवेज है टॉन्ग बॉय लुक आई यूज टू जान पूछ के अपने आस पास नेबरहुड में लड़ाई पिक करती थी आई यूज टू पिक फाइव The reason I used to do that because I wanted my father to look at me differently. My sister was always into uh, dolls and everything, playing, and she was not very really sporty. And my mother is a very, very, very simple, very uh, calm lady. You know, she is very, very polite. And I want. I thought strength is about being, you know, being bossy, and strength is about. Uh, you know, fighting. Strength was calling out people, and I wanted my father to look at me and say, "Ki ye to ladki nahi hai, ठीक है ये ऐसी नहीं है, ये वैसी नहीं है." तो मैं जान पूछ के लड़ती थी अनेबरुट में अपने father को दिखाने के लिए, because I knew my father is watching from the you know roof. I wanted to show him that Papa look at me. Drishti is somebody very bossy. So I'll I'll say I. मैं बोलती थी I didn't like the color pink. I used to make sure that I say that I don't like the color pink. Pink oh no, too girly, not for me. because i wanted i rejected everything which was girly because i wanted to be a boy for my father main bahut sari cheeze karti thi jisse bas main ladka ban jaun you know main hamesha ye sochti thi because mere paas aaj 5 saal pichle 5 saalon mein cheeze bahut change ho gayi hain you know ghar ke mein aurtein bahar ja rahi hain drive karti hain mere ghar mein par jab main badi ho rahi thi to aas pass aisi koi aurat nahi there was no woman who was working there was no woman uh, you know who i could see and look at ki you know i want to be like her all the models of uh, uh, inspiration were ruled by men to jo inspiration the wo sab aadmi the kaam ka aadmi kar rahe hain ghar pe aapko kaun leke aa raha hai saman aadmi leke aa raha hai ghar paise kaun de raha hai aadmi de raha hai to sab kuch aadmi ke liye to aap jab wo dekhte ho to women ko inspiration thi nahi koi aisi lady dekhi nahi jisko laga ki yaar aisa banna hai तो हमेशा सोचती थी कि भगवान ने मुझे सब दिया बट मुझे लड़की बना दिया आई यूज़ टू फील कि माय फादर माय ग्रैंड फादर वाज़ अ प्रोफेसर ऑफ इंग्लिश प्रोफेसर इन पंजाब यूनिवर्सिटी है एंड माय फादर वाज माय ग्रैंड फादर वांटेड हिम टू बी अ प्रोफेसर बट ही आई आई वांट टू डू समथिंग ऑन माई ओन देन ही यू नो मेड समथिंग ऑन हिज ओन एंड वॉज सक्सेसफुल एंड माई ग्रैंड फादर वॉज ऑल्सो डिड समथिंग इंडिविजुअली आफ्टर द टाइम एंड वॉज वेरी सक्सेसफुल एंड आई सॉ दिस आई थॉट आई एम लाइक आई कैन डू समथिंग ऑन माई ओन मेरे को घर पे खाना बनाना लड़कियों का तो यही होता है खाना बनाना घर पे रहना घर समेटना शादी हो जाती है एंड आई डोंट वांट दिस काइंड ऑफ लाइफ आई डोंट वांट टू बी आई यूज टू फील लाइक आई डोंट वांट टू बी लाइक माय मदर एंड दिस थॉट यू नो स्टेड विद मी फॉर सो लॉन्ग एंड आई यूज टू प्रे दैट भगवान आपने मुझे सारी क्वालिटीज दी आई एम लाइक माई फादर आई एम जस्ट लाइक आई एम नॉट लाइक आई सो रिजेक्ट कि आई एम नॉट लाइक माई मदर एट ऑल आई एम लाइक माई फादर बट द ओनली थिंग दैट इज रॉन्ग विद मी इज दैट एक्स एक्स क्रोमोजोम द एक्सट्रा एक्स दैट आई गॉट इंस्टेड आई शुड हैव गॉट वाई तो वो चीज धीरे 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 करते आई थिंक मैंने काफी टाइम तक बारह साल की उम्र तक ये चीज मेरे कॉन्स्टेंटली रही उसके बाद भी मुझे हिट होती रहती थी बट आई वॉज वेरी फॉर्चुनेट I was very fortunate that the world opened up to me. God was so kind to me that I was able to start seeing the beauty of being a woman, you know, and I started seeing how powerful being a woman is. It took me a really long time. I think it took me very, I think very late in my teens that I was able to say that, you know, completely, yes, I am proud to be a girl. 
I'm proud to say that I like the color pink. I'm proud to say that I like the girly things. I'm proud to say I don't like to fight. I'm not like this, you know, ninja who <laughs> can fight everybody. And I can still like video games. I can still like sports, and I can still be as much as a girl as I am today. I I like to play sports, and I I played football. I played cricket, and I love uh, playing. It doesn't make me any less of a girl, and it doesn't make me a tomboy. I'm just a girl. who likes to play sports who can do anything she wants so it took me a very very long time and with sarvani is just that was i it was just a whatsapp group i created because i saw the men are not united i saw girls just you know taking each other down somehow i felt ki uh, best friends mein unity nahi hai are tune to ka jaise uh, exam hua we got exam a uh, done to result i are tere zyada kyun aa gaye tune to kaha tha tune padhai nahi ki hai भाई के लिए कुछ भी बट मैंने लड़कियों में ये नहीं सुना बहन के लिए कुछ भी ठीक है यू मेज एनी थिंग फॉर यू I want that thing to happen, and I know there are a lot of women who think alike. There's so many women, so I wanted Sarvani to just be a bridge between these women who think, you know, that they can bring these women front and can just uplift each other. So that was the whole idea behind um, Sarvani, and I think that is why she shaved up. I'm amazed at your thought process, Drishti. I mean, hats off to your to your views, yeah. I mean, so tender age and so long perspectives you have. I mean, even at 60s, women can't think in the similar manner. The manner in which you are thinking, you are. I'm just amazed at what all you have said. I mean, what you were saying, I was able to connect every bit of it. That yes, it happens. But no one is like uh, no one can take initiative for what you are doing. तुम जो कर रहे हो तुमने initiative लिया. Not everybody has that guts. I can say that they can move ahead and do all the things which you are doing out there. Really, hats off to you, Drishti. I think I was very fortunate, you know, because I used to think this these things every day of my life. They were part because I had an elder sister. I was always compared to her, and the reason was I was compared and told I was a better, you know, better. I'm on the better side, and that made me. My sister took, you know, like, thoda distance bana liya usne mere se bachpan mein because competition hota tha. Main better dance karti thi. Okay, toh comparison mein wo kya dete ki fair hai, wo zada nahi hai. Toh meri behen mujhse chingri. Thik hai, women or women against ke chikar mein. Main college thi. Ah, toh because ah ki acha toh aisi ki toh khati sab kuch hai, toh moti kyun nahi hoti? Mujhe the se problem hai. मेरे फ्रेंड्स ने अपने आप बोला तो पर्सनल एक्सपीरियंस को आप देखिए तो ये चीज रेगुलरली इफेक्ट करती थी मुझे ऐसा ये मेरे साथ पर्सनली हुआ और मैं फॉर्चुनेट क्यों हूँ क्योंकि मेरे पास मुझे लगता है कि हर लड़की सोचती है जो रिसीविंग एंड पे है और जो गिविंग एंड पे है सबकी लाइफ में कहीं ना कहीं जाके ना कंपेरिजन हो जाते हैं हर चीज वो सोचती है कई बार घर से निकलते हुए बाहर अपने फ्रेंड सर्कल में पेरेंट्स की बातों सुनकर उसे कभी ना कभी ये चीज लगती है कहीं ना कहीं जाके हो जाता है मैं बस ये मेरे को लगता है मैं फॉर्चुनेट थी मुझे भगवान ने एक ऐसी अपॉर्चुनिटी दी अपने आप मुझे नहीं लगता ये चॉइस थी या मैंने कुछ सोच के किया ये आपको बस मिली मुझे मुझे लगता है मैं फॉर्चुनेट हूँ कि मुझे ये अपॉर्चुनिटी मिली कि मैं सरवानी में अपनी कंट्रीब्यूशन दे सकूँ और बस जो हो रहा है वो चल रहा है अभी <laughs> मुझे पता नहीं है क्या कैसे होगा आगे बट आप कर रहे हैं सो मूविंग ऑन टू नेक्स्ट क्वेश्चन टेल मी व्हाट कीप्स यू मोटिवेटेड व्हाट इंस्पायर्स यू ऑल द टाइम टू वर्क फॉर सरवानी यस ये क्वेश्चन जैसे कई बार मोटिवेशन का क्वेश्चन आता है यू पीपल आस्क व्हाट exactly is one thing that motivates you constantly and i wonder what you know i wonder what is that one thing but the answer is never its answer is very vague actually i have no specific things when it comes to sarvani i think it's very self motivation i don't need motivation to do sarvani work i don't need i need motivation for me to you know do my college assignments <laughs> i need motivation to do a lot of things i need i need motivation to get up in the morning and do stuff you know and wake up at like 6 o'clock and do some that i need motivation but when it comes to sarvani there's never a time you know when i needed motivation because 
look at me i was a full time student i have been a full time student the entire journey of sarvangian women weight club not even a single day i think i went for my i have one week from my undergrad last exam to my masters first day joining in pune so i was never a like i never had like a drop of one month or a year or anything so i was a constant student i needed motivation for other stuff to do my college assignments go and give my exam you know and prepare for my exam i still do i require motivation for them because i need motivation god i have to say six lines i have dissertation to write you know it's 7000 words i need to write i need motivation for that but when i do sarvani work one thing i don't need motivation for it it comes from so much from me personally it's fueling myself it's like i when i'm working i my mother and you know everybody in my family has seen me work they say ki tujhe bhook nahi lagti hai kya tu karti rehti hai kaam mujhe padhne baithti hu mujhe har 5 10 minute mein bhook lag jati hai mujhe bhook lagi hai main khana kha ke pad lungi but main sarwan ki kaam mein mujhe bhook nahi lagti hai mujhe kabhi nahi laga ki ha mujhe to kuch khane ke liye chahiye mujhe uth ke jana hai so i think it's 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 just some just nothing it's something of in within you know which tells me to do it do it otherwise i was no one told me to do sarwani why would anybody told my parents were dukhi the mere se my father was uh, fixed to the idea that i'm wasting my life i am what i'm doing is wasting my life if i want to serve the country or the community i should become an ias officer and do something about it for my for one year with with sarwani uh, uh, my father was very strict on the idea what the other hell are you doing focus on your career make something out of yourself my mother used to sit and tell me because when this uh, used to happen in my house i used to feel bad i used to cry and my mother used to come in my room and tell me ki drishti what do one thing make a good career then earn good enough money then you'll have money then you can do so many social projects you know sarwani chalana fir tum tas sarwani chalana jab tumhare paas paise honge kyunki sarwani mein main ghar se paise nahi le sakti thi aap kyunki डेफिनेटली uh, आप पैसे भी ले रहे हो घर वाले पहले ही आपसे परेशान है तो uh, मुझे मेरे मदर मेरी सिस्टर भी आती थी वाई यूर डूइंग समथिंग लाइक दिस यू नो बिकम समथिंग ऑफ योर ओन वेन यू हैव योर ओन मनी इन योर पॉकेट नो बडी विल क्वेश्चन यू स्प्रेंड स्पेंड इट वेयर एवर यू वॉन्ट टू एंड दिस यूज टू बी कॉन्स्टेंट बैटल यू नो कि ये करना है नो बडी टोल्ड मी नो बडी टोल्ड मी टू डू सरवानी और ओपन एन जी ओ वाई यू वॉन्ट टू डू कम्युनिटी वर्क अब ऑल्सो वन थिंग नाउ आई एम i get to do interviews okay it's only very recently i think i'll take take last one year i'm getting interviews people call from television you get like you go live on television you get these like i'm sitting in one interview with you right now but this was not even there not even a single a newspaper feature in like two two and a half years ever or more than that i think three years uh, never no feature no compliment nobody in the family said good work एवरीबडी वॉज लाइक अच्छा ये तो करती है कॉलेज कौन से जाना है मास्टर्स कहाँ करनी है जॉब कहाँ करनी है दिस वॉज दी क्वेश्चन नो बडी कॉम्प्लीमेंटेड नो बडी कॉन्ग्रेचुलेटेड नो इंटरव्यूज वर है सो द ओनली मोटिवेशन दैट वॉज हैटली देर वॉज एंट्यूशन एंड देर वॉज समथिंग इन मी विच टेल्स मी टू डू इट एवरी डे इट हैपन्स आई हैव नो समाइम्स आई गेट डी डिस्करेज बट आई नेवर गेट डी मोटिवेटेड डिस्करेज इन देंस बिकॉज i want to do something you know i want to but it's not happening i for example last year i wanted to give food i wanted to give meals i had no money to give meals but then i was constantly kya karu kya karu then i thought ki let's start then whatever money we had in sarwani and whatever we had we started you know doing that and then people started coming in and helping us and once you start now the, the thing is the problem is way to start once you start everything fall into place जस्ट योर नियत साफ होनी चाहिए और मेहनत होनी चाहिए दो चीजें मुझे मैं बार बार बोलती हूँ अगर ये दोनों चीजें हैं तो अपने आप काम चलने लगते हैं तो इसके लिए मोटिवेशन की जरूरत नहीं है मुझे आ, मुझे लगता है इसके लिए कहीं ना कहीं से अंदर से सेल्फ मोटिवेटेड हूँ बट और सारी चीजों के लिए मुझे बहुत मोटिवेशन चाहिए होती है आ, जो मैं ट्राई करती हूँ डिफरेंट डिफरेंट अपने आपको रिमाइंड करती हूँ कि यू नो वाइट दिस इज इम्पोर्टेंट दृष्टि बाय यू नीड टू डू दिस यू नो रिमाइंड माई सेल्फ and then i do that so yeah uh, drishti you mentioned that you are doing your masters so can you tell me yeah. what masters you are pursuing and from where you are pursuing it yeah. so i am doing a masters from symbiosis institute of media and communication pune i am doing my masters in journalism and uh, i was in pune uh, 
when the before the lockdown i uh, so and then the lockdown happened which was very fortunate because there was some struggle was happening with me you know working with sarwani uh, from pune uh, i was i was able to do it but it was not able i was not on the field so when the lockdown happened i get the opportunity to be here full time and work on the field again like i used to do and that's i think uh, i'm now it's online mostly uh, i went back to college for like uh, two and a half weeks to get my you know clear my hostel room and get my all of my stuff but now it's all online classes are there assignments are there and i'm just trying to balance out life so how do you manage your time with your studies uh, with sarvani matlab it must be a difficult task bahut difficult hota hoga yeah. uh, i know i know this like some uh, this friends of mine in my class they call me up and say ki tu kaise karti hai ye tere kaun assignments karta hai tu bata de because they are like they i this friend of mine she was like ki rishi you know i can do this also for me doing this in lockdown or being at home i am not motivated to do that how you're going around in so many places and then you're doing that also and how you match the timelines and everything i think i learned that when i was uh, in undergrad because sarwani was always there so sarwani was there from the beginning and a uh, college was still there so i learned a very good way to balance now there used to be two things my uh, college and sarwani and i also do very extra curricular activities i love to go and participate in mnns and you know go for these debates and everything i used to love to do that because i was always in a comparison ki acha sarwani acha kar raha hai how drishti will evolve so sarwani was like a colleague jiske sath main compete kar rahi thi who will do better and i learned that balance very well and now in my masters i have three things to most probably i have women made craft which is a company and then i have sarwani and then i have my college so it's 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 about learning i think it's, i have learned to dance to the pace पहले बहुत मुश्किल होता था बिकॉज ऑल्सो आई प्रायोरिटाइज अ लॉट ऑफ थिंग्स आई लुक एट आई हैव टेन थिंग्स आई हेड पेन डाउन एवरी नाइट आई हैव दिस डायरी ऑफ माइंड विच इज राइट हेयर विद मी आई पेन डाउन वॉट आई वॉन्ट टू डू टमोरो बिकॉज द टेन थिंग्स दैट आई नो दैट आई नीड टू डू फॉर एग्जाम्पल सिटिंग विद दिस इंटरव्यू आई नो दैट आई एम स्केड्यूल टू डू दिस इंटरव्यू एट दिस टाइम एंड आई नो दिस कपल ऑफ थिंग्स दैट आई एम जस्ट वेरी डेफिनेट सो दैट इज देयर and then i prioritize which is something which i know it needs to be done urgently so i'll do that first if i know my college work can wait and sarwani work is more important i'll do that but i know if my deadline is just one hour away and i need to get my done my art with my article then i'll do that then i'll be like okay let the other works you know rest uh, but uh, I think it's more about I've learned management skills like this only. It's prioritizing, and also in my days, always it's not definite work because in Sarwani, for example, let's look look at the situation right now. I'll always get these calls, you know, that immediately this needs to be done, and then also I prioritize that the immediate work is that more important than the what I'm doing right now. If of course, or that will take precedent. So what is more important, I do that. So I think I'm I'm. touch wood i think i'm able to manage uh, right now and there's another part of me who thinks that i don't work enough you know to my capacity i think i'm not even working to 30% of the capacity i can work i feel that constantly and i think i want like my to my future self if i'm watching this i want like to work like seven times more i need more work and i feel that i'm not working enough <laughs> it's not that i'm workaholic it's just i feel i know that there's more that i can do and get done in a day than what i'm able to do right now yeah okay so uh, moving down to our next question tell me bahut sare ngos jo hai wo lockdown mein band ho gaye the right so how did sarwani survive and most importantly tumne women made craft bhi tabhi hi start kiya so how could you manage all that uh first sarwani maine usse bataya ki mere paas funds nahi the और पहले तो कुछ दिन आई थिंक दस दिन तो निकले ही नहीं घर से बिकॉज इतना ज़्यादा बिल्कुल शट डाउन प्लीज शट डाउन उस दिन एंड सरवानी में बस पैसे भी नहीं थे बिकॉज हम वी डिन इवन एक्सेप्टेड डोनेशन बिफोर यू नो द लास्ट लॉकडाउन ने वो वी यूज टू से सरवानी इज कम्प्लीट वी मेक आर ओन मनी सो वी यूज इवन इफ एनी वी टू हैव इवेंट्स you know where we used to ticket everything पचास सौ रुपये की रखते थे सो दैट वी मैनेज द फंड ऑफ एनी थिंग वी आर डूइंग so uh, that i'd say saying that with sarwani i told you we started 
and we started okay whatever we have let's put that and start doing it. and then you know people started reaching out they were like koi keh raha tha we'll give you mask koi keh raha tha okay we want to give food for one day for your drive that you're doing for hundred miles a day that happened and women need craft i always wanted to go into entrepreneurship especially with women i started a project before going for my masters i was working on a jute project uh, where i wanted to have women working on jute products i started at workshop sarvani workshop and when i went to masters thinking in my head that you know i have settled everything i have got women i've got them a uh, you know mentor who can teach them stuff and now it will run on its own <laughs> okay i thought that and i was too privy because i was young i had no idea and i went to college one month it was shut complete shut down mm-hmm. and i asked my call my mother and i was crying and i was like what happened and she's like i we can't do this we don't know anything about it you come back after two years you do that Mm-hmm. And then I remember I make a big deal about it because you know I was working on it so much. I remember going to Delhi and getting everything done and you know uh, sourcing these jute uh, from Bengal and everything. And then then I always wanted I was interested in doing something because I believe that you know I wanted to create an entity where funds can be created and Sarvani don't have to ask you know it's like it he knows it has its own money and it can just you know we can sponsor it or so. entities can sponsor the uh, sarvani so when what happened uh, in the lockdown i started getting lot of calls from women you know and it's like ki hamare husband ka kaam band ho gaya hai naukri chhut gayi hai we don't have money for uh, you know we food also we have no money and me being you know uh, i at 21 i had no money of my own i had sarvani had no money from where i was able to give them money i have no idea and i used to got get these calls ki you know aap kuch help kar sakte ho because people will ask you because they think it's you know it's an ngo they ask you ki how can you help i had no ways to help them monetary then my brain started working how can i help these women and i started knowing the kind of skills these women have so just imagine every women especially from the backgrounds uh, that i am talking about uh, they know how to stitch they know little skills so i started contacting them and telling them okay let's let's make products so in that lockdown i couldn't assure them to give them you know uh, money for products which i can sell because there was no market there so i told them let's make mask so i got a i got a call because they are women we are working right now with they are madhubani they are from bihar tum bihar mein dekh from specifically from madhubani gaon madhubani is area everybody in that from that village knows how to do madhubani art okay everybody because madhubani is something that they do when they get married also so every is part of the wedding preparations so like mm-hmm. everybody knows how to put hina in our weddings in north so they similarly that they they make paintings for the wedding room also so everything they part of it so we came up with the idea that you know how to stitch women know some women know how to stitch we'll get them to make mask you don't know how to stitch but you know how to draw why don't we make hand painted mask so for, uh, for uh, especially women in our area region we started making madhubani as mask and there was a girl uh, in R- ruksar they are from patna ruksar uh, messaged me and you know showed me that ma'am i have created a turmeric dyed mask so i know how to stitch and everything i don't know how to paint but i know how to dye these mask from turmeric which is in, so we said okay then we created india's first turmeric dyed mask so we also launched that so you see what we were doing is like the situation because i started cutting call to dimag chalne laga you know what should i do how to get them work without just giving them money because i don't have that money so then the idea of women made craft uh, the flair website was women made craft website was sarvani flair website that was the concept was always there to have some products and you know sell them yes, but i was working on it for like a long time but when the lockdown happened it was like this is the time you do it or you don't do it and we started and now we are working on different products we are in product designing right now we are we have done with couple of shoots also so mm-hmm. and we are going to be revamping our social medias and websites it's a long i think long process of women made craft it's going to be a long journey but i really want i wanted women made craft to be like a women run company like entirely women built by women of women and you know for the whole community so all these products that these women are creating is also giving them respectfully the amount they deserve 
which is very important because when you go into handicraft i could have created a mask and you know which is a printed mask and sold them and made money out of it that is entrepreneurship when you add social entrepreneur it's about you know i create this mask who will benefit from it the person wearing it will benefit the person selling will benefit but the person making it should also benefit the kind of community women going to get employed their family is going to get benefit and they're going to get money and their art is going to utilize ancient art of india going to be revived look at all the plus and ticks it boxes it tick so right now we're working on that we're working on different different crafts we are working on block printing we're working on madhubani we are working on uh, some embroidery work different kind of art that we want to dwell in and uh, let's see i i don't know what will happen i all never know what will happen I, my plans are never like certain uh, but it's always what right now i can give to the community or the company i think i give that andrishti do you ever feel that agar chance mila hota tha ya kabhi laga hota to i would have opted for a professional degree which uh, which could give me handsome salary in near future instead of what you're doing currently do you ever yeah. regret bahut baar uh as a me i never tell sikini i never felt that way i felt that i uh, just uh, imagine my sister is one year elder to me and she uh, did her mba and in i think one year she was doing two year program and after one year she went to a internship in dubai okay. right now she's going to abu dhabi and that internship turned into a job okay so before she could have even get her mba done she was employed and you know she brings on these uh, gifts and you know lish expensive gifts for the family very and when she comes in like let me buy you drishti let me go and buy you this watch you know let me going which i'm so super proud of like i'm so proud of my sister uh, but there was always a point when you know money comes in and when they are like acha tu kamayegi kya you know when they take like what do you make and you to theek hai ye to aapka ek side profession hai but what you will make so uh, this was always uh, and especially when i saw ki life kitna easy hai when you have money you know so much you can do more i wish i had money for of my own money i think i could have done way more but then you know my father my father i told him that i want to do a job and i want to you know do something and i also went to uh, you know for a internship for in mumbai for two months it was a paid internship and i thought this two ways i can go in life i'll make money so that you know i can be happy with myself and my family will be happy because i'll be making enough so that i can please them also please myself also or i can do something where i make money and so many other people make money you know together and this change when i remember when the we started making mask and i got a call from one of our artisans and she was like ki mere uh, sister in law aayi hai aur usne bola ki isme bahut akad aa gayi hai kyunki abhi paise kamane lag gayi hai so she the artisan was laughing you know she was happy about it ki unne comment kiya so and i felt i felt so proud you know ki this some i am also part of the money she made like i am also part of that Uh, proud she is you know how proud she is so and then i thought this is so much better this is i know it will take me time it will take me a lot of lot of time more more time it's going to be time challenging thing it might take me 5 years you know things i could afford with a job in 2 months it might take me 5 months 5 uh, years but i know it will be worth it i to right now the person i am feels it will be worth it I don't know what is going to happen in future, but I just love that even like small, small amounts, small, small changes we could bring. Right now, the the additions they are not working full time for us, you know. But what additional income we are able to give to them, these women who are you know housewives and sitting at their home in the lockdown and getting these uh, little small, small paychecks and. Feeling they're getting feeling good. I am more than satisfied. I know I it will take me a long time to you know uh, be like my sister and say ki acha let me get you something uh, because everything comes and it goes. <laughs> But I think so. I think my father tells me one thing and I was like Papa I want to do a job and he was like No you have to give jobs. Don't think of uh, taking a job. You'll give jobs. So and I think yeah I'm just trying to uh, you know 
uh, keep myself motivated. Everybody in my college, because placements is happening, it's the last semester. So we get these messages, congratulations, this person has been placed in this, you know, this is the package, they are making this and this everything. And I read these congratulation messages. And I know that's a very safe option. I could have, I could have opted uh, for placements. I opted out of placements because I was like, I don't want to give myself, you know, a B plan this time. I can do it very because I have the advantage of age, you know. For me, if I be 24, 25, I would take a job if kuchni hua kar lenge. But abhi, I think I am privileged enough because of the age or time I am that I can take the risk. I can take that jump. So I'm taking that jump. I could keep a B plan, work from home. My mother was like, work from home, lele. get some additional income. You'll find, you'll love it, you know. And But I don't want to because I know, I know job can be taken I know I can, I can take it two years or three years down the line. But right now, I want to risk. I want to take that risk. I want to take that jump and just see what will happen. So I am right now in that jumping uh, position and I am taking that jump. I am taking the leap of faith, I believe. Yeah. Yes, very true, Dishti. Not everyone is so much privileged that they can uh, take so much risks into their life. So you're, we can say that you're privileged to take that risk into life and you have that much passion into that, that you're taking that risk. So I feel that's absolutely right to say that. So moving on to our last question, Drishti, tell me what is your vision in your life? <laughs> okay, that's a very interesting question, I believe. Uh, my vision for my life. Um, Long-term vision? I think one vision that I always had long long time vision is i want to have daughters a lot of daughters um, mm-hmm. and i also uh, you know i've named them because i bachman i always felt that i'm the extra one so i want my daughters you know i've named them i don't want to say but i like i will say keep pratna you know because i've so much pratna mm-hmm. but i know because i want them when they come to life that they should know that they're wanted you know I always felt that, ki, you know, I was a extra, I didn't have a little extra. One time, an auntie came to my house and told me, you are extra. So, this was my brother to come in the house, so you are extra in the house. So, I want my, I want to have daughters. That's my, that's my, I think if I have daughters and I'm able to give them and make them feel wanted, I think that would, that's all I want in my life. That's my plan. That's my goal in life right now and it's been for last I think since the age of 16 and this is my dream and my short term goal um, my short term goal would be I'm not uh, thought about it I am uh, my short term goal uh, would be just I think I want to every year when I cut my cake for birthday cake one thing that I always feel is that I next time when I'm doing that same thing and I'm cutting my birthday cake I'm a better version of myself everything not even as a as a person professionally personally so this is always my goal is like to improve upon myself so i'm very very uh, critical of myself so my always it's my short term goal is to be better you know be better in every way possible i could whether it's better to be in uh, communication or better as a person or just better in all aspects so my that's my always my short term goal to be be better so slightly i did dheere dheere karke I'll reach and become, uh, you know, the person that Sarwani deserves as a leader. I don't think so Sarwani deserves me right now. But I want to become somebody in the next five years so that when, you know, Sarwani looks at, Achha, oh, she's my founder, she, she should feel proud. Sarwani should be like, okay, oh, she, you know, she's at my uh, position, so she can be that. <laughs> so that's my uh, short-term goal right now. Drishti, it has been really so, so, so amazing talking with you. I just can't express in it words. It's just mind-blowing. Uh, I'm sure our viewers will also like what all concepts you have kept before them. Thank you so much, Drishti, for coming down to our show, giving your precious time to us. Thank you so much, Drishti. Thank you so much, Samudhi. I think I really love the session. I love, and I think I'll, this is something, the questions that you ask, especially in the end, I think will be with me and I would love to go through, uh, you know, with them in life. And I love that I could connect to you and your audience. And thank you so much. And looking forward to see you again very soon. Uh, guys, before I forget, I have mentioned the link 
to connect with Drishti for her in the description box. You can surely connect her. And yes, uh, if you like our show, kindly subscribe it, share it, and like it. Okay. So thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you.